and welcome to Hedgehog Hollow. We're at Dress My Craft with Shalini and we're super excited because they've got some great products. There's a shrink patch you might have seen in the product showcase. They've got the shaker elements and a really cool tweezer that I think I might be converting out the ones I already have. So let's go and have a look at it. Thank you so much, Alexandra, for introducing us so beautifully. And we are really excited to have you here at the oh, booth. Thank, thank you so much for dropping in. So I'm just trying to make sure that I'm controlling my excitement <laughs> for having her here and making sure that I give you enough information. So this is Shalini Mittal from Dress My Craft. And I know there are a few products which you guys have already seen on a lot of videos. But I know, you know, Hedgehog is always the oh, special video you. for me, where I know a lot of my Indian friends and a lot of my US friends really follow only one channel, and that's Hedgehog. <laughs> So let's, you know, show you everything what we have special. So what I would like to do, I would like to start with the product which is in the new product showcase so that you get the first glimpse of those products you have been really wanting to see. So let's go to the wall. So I believe this has been the most popular wall and it is very, very difficult to find a spot, you know, when you are actually here at this wall. You will never find an empty spot because people have been looking for this product crazily. Yes, what is it? It's a shaker element slices. Now let me show you what is it, how it works and what exactly it looks like. So to start with, let me show you this cute little penguins, which is like typically my favorite. So if you want to see them, they're very, very cute, you know, shaker elements, which you can actually use for making your cards, for your shaker elements, for your shaker tags, for your shaker anything. So it's just not, doesn't have to be a card. It doesn't have to be a tag. It can be absolutely everything. But you know what? To enhance the beauty of these shaker slices, I've got so many products to show you. So let's see them. Okay. So here, if you see, is a product called Flower Pearls. Why we call them flower pearls? Because typically they are used for flowers and in the centers of them just to make sure that you get a stamen beauty in them. But not only that, now I want to show you an example and show you how the shaker elements are used. So here is something which is very, very cute and very adorable. And I want to give you a quick tutorial on them, how I actually made them. So what we have taken is they have taken a ball, which is a plastic ball, you know, emptied out from in between taken one piece of our miniature this little guy miniature and we have actually made it fit in between and what we have done we have taken a flower pearl in white color we have taken another flower pearl in a pink color and we actually mixed it up the quantity what you like then what we have done we have taken this little cute 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 ice creams look at this one such cute ice creams, and we have actually mixed them up and not only that much I had some more thing to mix it up that's our little cute sequence so you know you can actually create such beautiful products so if you are into kids craft you do something very quick you have a channel where you want to do something of 59 seconds you have a channel where you just want to do something which is very very quick so this is something really for you also not that much i want to actually show you a few more examples few more inspiration this is another card so if you see we have a watermelon here and a small watermelon slices here we have strawberry and we have strawberry here we have orange here and we have some straw orange slices here we have actually typically got everything for you. So if you are a fruit lover, we have a watermelon, we have strawberries, we have orange, we have kiwi, we have fruit salad, we have fruit mixes. Oh my God, we have actually everything. Not only that much, if you like teddy bears, we have teddy bears. If you like rainbows, we have rainbows. We have actually 20 of them, so you can pick up what you like. We have a lot of color range. They come in mixes, they come in sizes. And look at this cute tray which has been completely made using these cute little miniatures and everyone is different. You have endless possibilities with them. You can actually use them for sticking anywhere. You can actually decorate your scrapbooks. You can decorate your planners. You can decorate typically everything with the shaker elements. And also I want to talk about our shaker things. So what we have here is we have a new mix in which if you see, first of all, look at the sequence jar, what we have. We are not selling our sequins in the plastic bags because I know once you have used them, you have to actually typically discard them and trash the plastic bags. So to overcome that problem, we are giving this little cute jars. Once they get empty, you can use them for your embellishments, for your brads, for your metal things. I know I have so many metal things which has been lying around on the table or in my room. And sometimes when I'm stepping in my room, oh my God, I come to know that there's something pricking in my leg and I know that was an embellishment. So you have a place to store your embellishment. Not only that much, you can keep your glitters in them, you can keep your spices in them, you can keep your jewelry in them. Isn't that good and great about it? So let's see what we have for you. We have this new pre-mixes, which is actually having some sequins and some orange slices. So this is one which is with the orange slices and we call them actually the orange shake. 
and this one we have is called carnival candy sequence so what we have is the most popular one has been the carnival candy i know the color is so cute and it reminds me of you know going to a circus and you know having some fun with the family so this is really a cute one we have lot of free mixes and you must visit dressmycraft.com to see what all we have for you so no matter what age you are no matter whether card maker no matter if you are a scrapbooker no matter you are a planner you can actually use the shaker elements for anything i literally mean it it's anything means anything okay i think i want to stop it here let me get this okay a lot of people have asked about if we are selling these balls yes we are these little balls you can actually create the you know key rings with them you can actually create the cards with them i want to show you one example which is really really very creative look at this one one of our design team has made this beautiful card and if you see this card what they, what it has it has a background die from dress my craft it has a small ball but she has taken just a half of it not the full how smart is that and she has taken a small size she has filled in some kind of a background in it and she has made a little penguin set on it isn't that cute that's lovely i know that's so thoughtful of the design team to actually make such beautiful card so let me take you to something else which will give you more examples about the shaker slices Okay so look at this one what they have done is they have taken a mickey face they have typically made a mickey face and you know put in some mickey slices in that isn't that cute the matching one not only that much look at this one this is actually my favorite you know there is a background which has been created here and there are some little clouds here and they have used some ice crystals from dress my craft and they have made a little penguin set oh my god it reminds me of a glacier it reminds me of a you know some zone which has lot of you know snowfall which has lot of you know chilly weather and it's so beautiful to look at you can create this beautiful shaker elements you can create these beautiful cards for yourself for your family and your friends and they will really have fun with this okay so we are there at the product which is another focus of this season so let me show you first this jewelry which is displayed and let me ask you a question if you can really guess it right so if i show you this jewelry do you think it's glass do you think it's plastic or do you think it's like paper and if i tell you something it's none of them it's something else so let me show you what product is it so this is our shrink print plastic sheets actually they are not shrink plastic they are actually shrink print why because they are actually frosted in nature so if you use the sheet you know the sheets are going to be in double the edge so you will have one side frosted and one side glossy and what you can create with them whatever you see here you can actually create all of them with this everything is completely made of this sheets only you can actually make flowers with them you can put them on goggles you can make the bracelets you can make the jewelry you can make necklaces you can do hair accessories you can do your hair bands you can do your bracelets anklets your a waist thing you can do absolutely anything with them and i want to take you through a tour like you know where you can see this little cute brooch that is also done with the same shrink print plastic and if you see this little cute hanging that's the same thing and can you see the detailings in them oh my god they're so beautiful and i want to pick one product in my hand which is probably one of my favorites is this little cute earring look at this one isn't it so pretty and so natural i mean i can literally wear it any time a day and i would just love to have it around all time this is amazing and the creativity is endless with this products as you know we have lot of paper line with us so we manufacture paper but before i jump into the paper and their designs i want to talk about the quality of the paper so when you see trust my craft papers so you would find it's a it's coming in a pad it's not a pack because i know sometimes you tend to lose your sheets if they are not coming in a pad so ours is a paper pad that's one thing i want to talk about second thing is our papers are 240 grams yeah and when i convert them in pounds they are actually 160 pounds i know it's hard to believe but that is what it is it is 160 pounds because this paper is really thick why we have given you that thick paper because i know i am a scrapbooker myself and i am a crafter myself and i know at times when you are making a scrapbook and you need a card stock sometimes you don't find a matching card stock and it becomes very difficult for you to use a thinner paper and create a scrapbook out of it especially when you are making a 3d project you always need a base so we thought why not to solve this thing and introduce a paper which is really thick so this one is really going to solve your problem they come in a pack of 24 sheets so that means you get like two designs each for 12 designs and you get a beautiful paper pad coming in 240 grams which make you so much of things 
easier and the scrapbooking and any kind of 3D project. So let me take a flip through of the paper parts that you understand what kind of printing we have, what kind of colors we have, and what kind of designs we have, and you would know more about our paper parts, what we are offering you. Let's start with something which is new for the CHA. Yeah, this is the Creativation launch for 2020, for this January. This is some, one of my favorite paper parts, and I just love the color palette used in it. Now, if you see the paper part, they are having all the details which is mentioned over here, and if you want, you can use even these tiny stripes out of it. We are trying to give you as much as utility from the paper pad. Now let me give you a quick flip through of this paper pad. Isn't it cute? Isn't it pretty? Oh, I know. I flipped a lot of papers all together. Okay. So if you see the palette used in this paper, they're really great. They're absolutely perfect to create anything. And if I just want to, I might want to show you something which is here. These are our little cute projects done by our design team. So look at this one. So they have created a miniature of a cake uh, shop. And if you see the miniature, they have not used any kind of background papers here. No cardstock has been used, it's just the paper. So this 240 gram paper really helps you to create anything. You can do mixed media with them, you can do the cards with them, you can do your general tax with them, you can do the shakers with them. You can actually use this paper part for anything, absolutely. So if you go through our collections, you will find each collection being very different for other. So this is a Sweet Treats paper pad, which is like very pastel. Now if I take you through its Be Mine collection, which is absolutely perfect for a Valentine, for any kind of love theme, or for any kind of a project which is done for the people who are either getting married or married or in love. So this is all about your love. So let me just give you a quick flip through with this paper pad as well. Look at this one, the palettes we have used, the greys, the greens, the reds, the browns, and you know, so many colors coming all together in a palette. Look at this one, this is so beautiful. And see the inspirations we have with the same paper pad. Look at this cute little 3D project. Isn't it so pretty? I think I'm in just love with this one. Can you see the details in it? Some cakes, some dessert, and there is a coffee mug inside. Isn't that very pretty? So here we are at the wall for our dyes. As you can see, we have different variations in dyes. What we carry, I would like to give you in details. We carry flower cutting dyes. We do carry like sentiment dyes. We carry like word dyes. We carry border dyes. We carry like basic shapes of the dyes and we carry a lot more other things, which I mean, which is quite unique and different. Why I'm saying they're unique and different, let me just talk about a background dye a little bit. So if you see, these are all background dyes and there are various views the design team has shown. So for example, if this is a background, dye with a leafy one they have created a beautiful shaker but it doesn't look like a shaker because a very very thin shaker created with just the glitter in it isn't that great so you can actually use the foreground of the dye you can use the background of the dye you can actually use the dyes in this multiple ways and look at this chevron one what we have here this dye is really beautiful and it has been the most popular dye for this season for us because people are really liking the way it has been cut and the way it creates a perfect size of a card for you so here what we have is a wide selection of dyes for you. So if you're a card maker looking for some pretty sentiments in smaller sizes, we have sentiments for you. If you're looking for some doilies, we have it for you. If you're looking for another sentiments for any scrapbooking, we have it. If you're looking for leaves, if you're looking for flowers, if you're looking for anything, we probably have everything for you. If you're looking for something which is bigger in size, so these are just the petal dyes, you can really create big flowers with them. Also, if you're gonna work with shrink print, these dyes are really going to work wonders for you. So if you need anything for your, any requirement for your card making, for your scrapbooking, for your mixed media, or for your shrink print, we have it all for you. Since we are trying to make everything available for you under one roof, so we have recently started with our rice papers. If you see our rice papers prints, they are really absolutely gorgeous to use. They come in 23 grammage so that you can perfectly use them for decoupage, mixed media, or any of your craft where you need rice papers. So if you see some of the prints, they are really gorgeous and they're very, very different to be used. We have the backgrounds, we have the foregrounds, we have everything available in our rice papers. So we have a very wide selection of rice papers available. And talking about the product which has been very 
popular for last one year and I believe a lot of stores carry them already is our bone folders. They are non-stick bone folders and they don't stick to any surface. We have various sizes available in them. Generally, if you see, this is the most popular one and that's the most popular one. But if you see with our store, we have a pencil bone folder. So I want to show you the pencil bone folder for a while so that you understand how it is different. So if you see, it's like it comes in a shape of a pencil and actually you can really score very well and if you guys are book binders or if you guys are doing anything with the leather jewelry or if you make any kind of leather bags and if you know there is one point of your leather bag which is not coming you can really use it if you see we have introduced a new size of a bone folder which is really a jumbo one so you can actually use it with rice papers you can use it with your scrapbooking you can use it for anything we are trying to experiment as much as we can with the bone folders so that you get all sizes whatever is suitable because sometimes I may not like to use a pencil or I may not like to use a longer one and I might something which is really broad so this one is really to hold and you know do your scrapbooking or your mixed media or your decoupage or your rice papers it's just perfect so here comes the selection of stencils we have a wide range of stencils as well I know it's really not possible for me to show you all the stencils designs but if you may just want to know that what kind of stencils we are producing so you may see they come in a four size and the price point on the stencils are really great. They come for $8.99. Yes, they come for $8.99. That's a great, huge saving. So continuing with the statement of that we are trying to make everything available under one roof for you so that you don't have to really rush around you know for finding your products so if you're making an, any albums with us or if you're doing any cards with us we have everything for you we have the scoreboards we have the trimmers we have the cutters we have the bulletins we have punches just to talk about one single punch if you look at this punch this one single punch can actually cut three sizes for you so 1.5 2 inches 2.5 you don't need three punches, you just need one punch. So this goes with this one and the same one with this and for this one as well. We do have this mini baby trimmer. People are in love with this trimmer because it's very handy and you can carry it anywhere. And then we have a selection of a lot of punches in different ways. This is a corner punch. Then if you go, this is also a corner punch. If you want to know more about the corner punch, we have one more, which is here. That's another corner punch. That's another corner punch. That's another corner punch. So we have a wide selection of punches in one variation. So if you need like a 3mm, 4mm round, 5mm round, 7mm round, we have like all sort of punches. Because I know if it is round for me, it may, it may be still, you know, stiff for you. And you may want to make it more rounder. So we have all the selection of punches for you. These are the border punches, die cleaning tool. We have exactly everything what you're looking for. As you know, flower making is our speciality and you know, just to make it more special for you, I have a very special paper. People have given it different, different names to this paper, but let me tell you the exact name of the paper is floral oriental paper. People call it magical paper, people call it rock paper, people call it different, different papers, but actually we call it floral oriental paper. What is it? So what you do is you take the paper, die cut the paper with any of your dyes what you have and put some ink on it we prefer to use archival inks but it's up to you whichever you find is like waterproof you can use those inks use the ink on the top of it put the same petal in water take it out after 30 seconds and then just you know soak it with a towel and then just try to draw some groove lines on it or maybe you can do any kind of embossing you can do even the hand pinching on them and once you're done take out your heat gun and heat set it on what you get believe me you get rock hard flowers. Can you see and can you hear the sound? This is paper and it has become rock hard after being into water. It's not like a normal paper which becomes soggy after being in water. It's a different sort of paper which becomes really hard after coming from the water. So look at this one. So if you are a flower maker, this paper is for you. Because I know many of you complain of getting flowers crushed. Many of you complain having very soggy flowers. Many of you complain your uh, petals not staying there. But with this, they will stay as it is. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about one of a very cute product in the store. Before I actually talk about its benefit, you know, I want to talk about a little bit problem what I faced with my die cutting machines. I always wanted a die cutting machine which is mini because I wanted to carry it with me. But what I found is the die cutting machine had a different kind of a structure which was not plain from all over. And whenever I was trying to put it in my tote bag, a lot of things actually tangled up in between. And you know, they came in between like, you know, I had a pen going in, I had a tape going in, I had a stapler going in. So we thought why not to make a machine which is like flat all over and gives you a smooth surface from all the sides. 
also the another problem which I face is whenever I was trying to take a make a sandwich on the top of the machine, my sandwich used to fall, and I always used to put a tape because I know the sandwich will not go till there, and I cannot make a sandwich on the platform because my platform did not have enough space to make the sandwich. And another problem which I face along with that. When I try to run through the sandwich, the other side when it came out, I always had to hold the sandwich because it was falling again from the back side. So we solved your problem and we gave you the biggest platform for the machine which is so big in front and which is so big at the back. So if you see this machine has a platform which is equal in, on the front and which has, has an equal side on the back itself. And the best part about this machine is you can keep your plates here and you don't have to worry about sandwich. You can actually make your sandwich here close it, don't have to put the tape and run it through and it doesn't even fall. So if you're in a rush and if you just want to die cut and you know rush it and don't want to pick up the sandwich, you can let it stay there. You don't have to worry. Not only that much, I want to talk about something else. With this machine, you get two anti-slippery pads which comes and which holds the machine very well on your table. Not only that much, it's two anti-slippery pads here, two here and two here. So in total, you get six anti-slippery pads with your machine. So it rests very well on your table. And I want to show you one thing. If you think you are going to carry like 2 kg, 3 kg in your bags, again, no, you're not going to carry that. So look at the weight of the machine. It's so tiny, it's so lightweight, yet cuts all your dies, and it's so light in weight that you can carry on your one finger. Isn't it amazing? So I'm sure you guys are no more worrying about carrying heavy machines in your pockets or in your tote bags. You can actually fly with this machine you can go anywhere and do your die cutting anywhere possible in this world we have got a lot of products in dress my craft and i would really recommend you to go to the website once and have a look on your products if you have a store nearby who carries dress my craft products and if you need one let them know that you're looking for them thank you so much for you know joining us at the video thank you so much for hedgehog hollow team for coming here stopping by booth and you know covering up we really you know appreciate their time and effort and thank you so much for having a look at our products see you soon at creative 2021. Bye-bye.